Greetings everyone, this is Danny from HardTravel.com, your celebrity cruises experts. And today, I have the great pleasure of sailing on board the beautiful, brand new Celebrity Ascent. This is another evolution of the incredible design, architecture, and engineering work that Celebrity has done with the Edge class of ships. It started with the Edge, they took you to the apex, of course they took you beyond, and now we're ascending to the top. Now what I love about this particular ship is the way that it's been designed to eliminate a lot of the structural elements that stand in your way. You're gonna find the best ocean views in the entire industry. You're gonna find some unique asymmetrical design as well. You see that right here on the walking track. Now I'm gonna take you through every public space here on board. Keep in mind we have all the rooms and suites on our channel. We have that for the celebrity suite. And most importantly, when you're ready to book your next cruise with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel or book it right on hardtravel.com. We know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime wherever in the world you're going at an incredible value and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now with Celebrity, you know you're gonna get delicious food. They have amazing specialty restaurants. Of course, they have tons of complimentary options as well. You're gonna have phenomenal world-class entertainment. The newly renovated and designed theater here on board has more technology than any theater in the industry. But the pool deck is one of those places where they put a ton of energy because this pool deck is meant to be used from early in the morning until the wee hours of the night. Now you're gonna find that here, you've got the large pool right down the middle. It's one of the largest pools in the industry. They've added quite a bit of space to the resort deck compared to the earlier versions of this ship. So in addition to the large pool, you've got more lounge space. Of course, you've got the large bar behind because what every single great pool deck needs is a delicious pool bar. You're gonna find some of the best crew in the entire industry, not just there serving drinks, of course, they're gonna keep you smiling and happy and laughing, but they have phenomenal crew all around the ship. I've really enjoyed sailing on this ship, seeing some of my favorite celebrity crew members that we've made friends with over the last 20 years of sailing with Celebrity. The crew is truly what makes this ship and Celebrity exceptional. Now you've got two incredible champagne glass hot tubs up above. You also see the LED light feature on the far side. And what they're doing with this particular pool deck is you're finding that they're gonna turn this into a late night party area. So they've added all kinds of different lighting. They've added several different styles of parties out here as well. We had the shine the night party last night. It was an absolute blast. Make sure you pack those sequins and the bright colored clothes because you're gonna love dancing the night away. They've got the full bandstand there where they'll bring out the band. They can put the DJ out as well. They've got lots of small lounge space. Of course, every Edge class of ship has a unique sculpture. On this particular one, you're gonna see the octopus down below. I really do like that. And my kids love those features. Of course, it's one of the best Instagram spots on the entire ship. Now you're gonna find a ton of seating both in the sun and in the shade. You've got loungers that face the ocean, you've got loungers that face into the pool, and you even have a series of cabanas along the pool side. I love that those do face the pool now, very similar to a Las Vegas style beach club experience. You can rent those out for half a day, for a day, or even the entire cruise. You're gonna get some unique service, both food and drink there. Now up above, you're gonna find the walking track that we're on right now. Now this is really unique. It covers several different stories of the ship and it wraps all the way around to the app and then it's gonna come up and wrap all the way around to the side as well, heading right past the magic carpet. You can see the magic carpet just behind. We'll take you there in just a minute. It really was a revolutionary feature when added and it changes the entire cruise experience in so many ways. So from here, you can see the beginning of some of the most incredible design elements of any cruise ship in the world. Let's continue to check out this amazing vessel. Now, as we continue to head up the walking track and it's gonna wrap around, you're gonna find one of the entrances to the retreat behind me. Now, this is the exquisite suite only area here on board. The phenomenal suite experience on Celebrity has been taken to another level on Ascent. You've got some of the best suites in the industry, some of the best butlers, inclusions, and so much more. Now, we'll take you through there and tour all of that space in just a few moments. But I wanted to point out there's an enormous amount of sun deck space. So I also love that they've put restrooms up here as well. You're gonna find lots of recliners. Of course, you've got those wonderful hot tubs. And as you wrap all the way around, you're also gonna find a new bar. So you'll have bar service all around the top. You'll also have that bar service down on the pool deck as well. 
Now, as we continue to wrap around on the jogging track, you get some more incredible views of that resort deck down below. Of course, you've got the bar behind me and more sun loungers. There's so much space to spread out here. Relax, whether it's a sea day or you're in port. This is a wonderful place to catch some rays and read a book. Now, the Mass Grill is the classic pool grill experience. You've got hot dogs, hamburgers, they top them off with delicious caramelized onions and bacon. You're gonna have lots of wonderful options to choose from. You can grab the food here. There's seating all along the windows. You also have high top seating here right in the middle as well. But one of the best features of this particular spot is the soft serve ice cream. I'm gonna go and give it a hug right now. Now the Magic Carpet was truly revolutionary when it was introduced on the Celebrity Edge. It's much more than just an incredible bar and lounge. That's the position we're in right now on deck 14. It does go up to deck 16 as well for that bar lounge concept. It heads all the way down to deck five where you can have dinner on the edge. A wonderful upgraded specialty experience where you can take advantage of that menu from Raw on five and much more. But what this really does is it's a tender platform. With Destination Gateway, when it heads all the way down to two, you can tender into ports in a very comfortable manner. That's something different for this industry because for so many years, it was the lifeboats only. Now they are the lifeboats here, but they've redesigned them to make them extra comfortable. And Destination Gateway is air conditioned, relaxed. So when you head on in from an incredible destination, you start to enjoy right away. Now there's a ton of lounge style seating out here. You've got tables for two and four. You've got the high top bar seat, in fact, Wow, they must know me. Looks like the gin and tonic's ready to go. So as we sit down and have a wonderful drink with friends, of course, squeeze the lime in. Cheers, Bianca. Mmm. We have some delicious drinks here. Relax, have a dinner, but you get the most incredible infinite views off the side of the ship. I'm gonna need to take a break for just a bit. Just call my name. The Solarium is another one of those spots where you can really see how they use technology to redesign how we look at cruise ships. What you'll find is you have massive floor to ceiling windows. You've got the large solarium up above and they've been able to move the posts around where you can get those incredible unobstructed ocean views. Now, right in the middle, you're gonna have the solarium pool. Maybe you're cruising in one of the cooler climates in the world. You can utilize this and it is fully temperature controlled. There is a ton of loungers in here. You have them facing into the pool. You have some in the pool itself. Of course, you've got the jacuzzi hot tubs as well. And then you've got recliners that look out at the ocean. I love the beautiful sculptures in here. And tucked in the corner, you're gonna find the spa cafe. Now this does go into the spa as well. So you're gonna find this is one of those great places where you can focus on wellness. You can come take a dip. You can utilize the thermal suite. And of course, have some delicious juices at the spa cafe. Now at the spa cafe and juice bar, you can get some wonderful light bites. So they'll have a breakfast menu here where you can grab and go. They'll also have some great lunch options as well. Now it's all about finding that spa and fitness style food. So you're gonna have some things that are very low calorie, very highly delicious, and you can partner it up with a fresh juice. Now those do come at an additional cost unless you have the premium beverage package. Keep in mind, this is open in the morning and usually just to, through lunchtime. Now the rooftop garden is all about combining elegant spaces, very dynamic options, and of course, the beauty of a garden itself. I love that they have the live plants here on board. Of course, with the Solstice series of ships, they debuted that with an incredible lawn club, and they've taken it to another level here on board. All the plants behind me that you see are alive. I love that concept of cozying up to a little nook. You have a book that you can read, or of course, you can use this for so much more. They'll do first run movies behind here. They'll also use it for the kids club later in the evening sometimes. I know my daughter loved coming up here for a movie and some games. They have lots of interactive games. They've got pickleball right behind us. They also have Connect Four. They'll bring out lots of fun here and it'll transition from early in the morning where they use it for yoga, things that are more relaxed and quiet throughout the day to a more active experience. And then it goes back into the evening where you can come up, grab a drink and enjoy a wonderful movie. Now there's lots of seating areas up here. You've got lounge style seating. You've got nooks cracked all the way around. You're also gonna find the large screen behind me. Now they've added lights. This is another one of those places where they've added some incredible experiences. So if you're looking for a wonderful party spot, this could be that. Or if you're just looking for a place for serene and elegant beauty, much of the day it's reserved for that as well. 
Now another thing that they've added on this particular ship are the Infinity Edge pools. So there's a couple that look out and take advantage of those incredible ocean views, but right at the heart of it in Anchor, you're gonna find the rooftop garden grill. Let me take you in there. It's one of my favorite specialties in the industry. Now, as soon as you walk in the rooftop garden grill, you get that wonderful smell of barbecue. You're gonna have some delicious items here. I absolutely love the short rib chili. I love the wings, I love the ribs. I really love everything. And they have some incredible craft cocktails designed to go with this menu. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of the specialty restaurants here on board, which means it does come at an additional cost. You can purchase it a la carte, or of course you can purchase one of the packages and reserve here as well. Now, I love the open concept that you have with the kitchen. You can see the chefs working hard on your behalf, but it's all of those intoxicating smells that really overwhelm you when you come in, and you're gonna love it throughout the entire experience. Now, they've really expanded the area. They've got fans and shade up above. You've got seating that wraps all the way around the far side, and of course, when they do have music and things on the rooftop garden, you get a bit of this as well. Now, this is a wonderful al fresco dining experience that I highly recommend. I know my family's been here quite a few times and will continue to come back. Now, I mentioned the two plunge pools. I really love that they've been able to spread people out and expand some of the spaces. This is one of those. You've got those incredible infinity edges. And of course, they've doubled down on the Sunset Bar, my favorite venue on the ship. Let's head back there now. Now, those of you who know me and watch the channel know that my favorite part of a ship is always the aft. There's something magical about the aft of the ship as you sail away from incredible destinations around the world. And what better way to do that than with a cocktail in your hand? Now, the newly reimagined Sunset Bar here on the Ascent, just like on the Beyond, was designed by Nate Burkus. It's Moroccan theme and it's absolutely spectacular. You've got several different tiers that step all the way down to the aft of the ocean view. I love the terrace down there as well. It's one of my favorite places to eat, and this is where I love to drink before dinner, after dinner, any time of the day. Now you can see you've got the full bar behind me with some of the best bartenders in the entire industry. You're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around where you can truly get those wake views in the aft of the ship. Now it's gonna wrap all the way around. It's the perfect spot, especially if you're dining at the rooftop garden drill. They're also gonna have a bandstand on the far side where you can listen to live music. So you can picture sitting here with the sunset as you grab a drink, you head out and enjoy those amazing views. Don't miss out, it's one of the most popular bars on the ship. Now, if you're looking for me, it's quite often you'll find me here at Scoops. They have some delicious complimentary options here with some ice creams and gelatos. They also have some upgrade options from time to time. And don't forget the soft serve. That's what it's all about. But you've got all the sprinkles and the deliciousness, the cookies. My daughter and I love to come here meh, two, three, four, five hundred 500 times a day. The Ocean View Cafe is the casual buffet style restaurant here on board. Now you have incredible massive windows wrapped all the way around where you get amazing natural light. You're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around the buffet as well. You've got booth style seating, tables for two, four, and larger for family groups as well. Keep in mind, it goes all the way to the aft. Now here is El Segundo Bacchio, which is a coffee shop in the morning and a bar throughout the rest of the day. They're gonna provide bar service all around this area, but what I love is the bakery is right here when you come in. In the evening, you'll often see them rolling out dough, preparing the rolls for the next morning, and then you're gonna have delicious dessert options. You've got fruits, of course, because we're at dinner time right now. Now, as we head further into the buffet, you're gonna find an incredible diverse offering from the chefs here on Celebrity. You've got more of the bakery over to the side. You can see the large ovens. And I love that you get hit with that incredible smell as soon as you walk in. Now, there's several different stations here, but first I wanted to show you the complimentary drink stations. So for the morning, of course, you can have drip coffee at no additional cost. You can have the teas, they have juices, and then later in the day, it's gonna turn into fruit punch and iced tea, passion orange guava, that's my daughter's favorite, and lemonade. So you've got all the different condiments and drinks. They'll have these all around, including in the aft. Now you'll have diverse options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, this area is gonna be eggs made to order. Of course, all your favorite waffles and French toast and pancakes and things like that. But think for dinner, you're gonna have stir fry. Now they do mix and match each and every day, so you have different options. I do really love the pasta station on the far side. You can make it to order exactly like you want, which is what vacation is all about. Now the first stop here is the Asian and Indian food. They have Indian food every day for lunch and dinner and I love it. It's one of the most popular that you'll find. Why not? They have some of the best Indian chefs on the planet right here on board. Next up, we have the fromagerie. This is where you can get all the delicious cheeses, charcuterie style as well. I know that Parmigiano Reggiano is calling my name in just a minute here. You've got all kinds of cheeses that they'll mix up each and every single day. 
Now as we continue along, you can see there's a little bit of an Italian theming here. You've got that delicious caprese salad. It looks like there's some maybe burrata over there as well. And right in the middle, you're gonna have a crepe station today. But like I said, each day it's a little bit different. You've got all your fruits, you've got the salad bar. They're sure to find an option here for you. Now today you've got the Latin flavors over here. They'll have that every single day and lots of hot entrees. And then all along the far wall, you're gonna find the different favorites. Once again, for breakfast, this is where you'll find the egg station. But today they have an incredible Mediterranean masterpiece here. I'll be back for that as well. I think I've been thinking that the entire time I'm walking through. It smells delicious, it looks delicious, and it is. I know with my family, we take advantage of the buffet all the time. It's one of the great things with the kiddos. And then sometimes they'll head to the kids club and then my wife and I'll head out and enjoy a delicious dinner. The carvery is where you're gonna find all of your favorite meats. You've got fish, you've got pork. It looks like there's some beef over there today as well. And then they've got a Caesar salad station. So breakfast, lunch, dinner. If you're looking for a casual dining option, you're gonna love the Ocean View Cafe. Now, all the way in the back, you're gonna find the bank. Well, that's where they have all the dough, right? Well, actually it's the pizza shop and they make delicious handmade pizza all throughout the day and late into the night. You're gonna find your favorites. They've got margarita and pepperoni. And then today they have white truffle pizza and four cheese. It'll be different each and every single day, but don't miss out on the calzones either. They're all delicious. They have incredible chefs here. And once again, the pizza oven back there and fresh handmade pizzas just for you. Now, as you continue along, you're gonna find the Ocean View Bar. Now, I love that they have a full bar set up here. Now, this extends out to the aft of the ship as well. You've got high top seating here. You've got bistro style seating. And as you continue along, you'll see the bar itself. Now, one little secret is they do have a coffee maker, so you can get all your favorite coffee drinks back here in the morning or in the night if you're looking for that espresso martini. And you've got lots of delicious options and wonderful bartenders. Now, for me personally, I always head to the aft. That's where you're gonna find the most seating, especially on boarding day. A lot of people will stop and head up up front. There's also some secret spots all the way around the front, around the corner as well. So don't stop at the first seat you see. Find an open one, but go to the aft and take advantage of those incredible views. You can see there's a full another drink station back here as well. Grab your food and enjoy. Now we just stepped outside to the aft terrace of the Ocean View Cafe and the bar's just inside. This is another one of my favorite spots on the ship for so many reasons. You can grab a piece of pizza, head on out late in the evening, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's the perfect place to dine al fresco. Now one of the great amenities of being in a full retreat suite here on board is the incredible two-story retreat sun deck. You'll see behind me, they have a really nice large pool. I love that they've got seating wrapped all the way around where you can dip your toes in the water as well. Now you've got the full shower and an enormous amount of seating here. There's loungers looking out the front of the ship, taking advantage of those incredible ocean views. And then they wrap all the way around there. You're gonna have umbrellas for shade. Of course, they can put those up or down based on your request. Now, when we continue along, you're gonna find more art up here. You've got a beautiful sculpture as well. And then you just have a ton of sun deck space. And what I love about that is being that you're in a suite, it's not crowded up here. You've got plenty of space to move around. And by adding a second deck to it, you're gonna find that it's a really great touch. Now, there's also wonderful touches throughout. You can see over here, they have sunscreen for you. Maybe you forgot it, left it at home. You're gonna have the towels here. They also have little things like sunglasses and chapstick and things like that to really enhance the overall experience. Now, you've got a lot of large lounge space, and now we're at the outdoor restaurant. Now, there's several sets of chairs and tables here. The restaurant's gonna be open from late in the morning until early in the evening. You can take advantage of that delicious Lumine burger or the Caesar salad. I love absolutely everything they have here. Now, in addition to the restaurant, there's a full bar, so you can have cocktail service all throughout the retreat lounge area and the retreat sun deck, and of course, it complements your lunch. Now, as we continue to head aft, you're gonna find large loungers, lots of great little nooks and crannies where you can sit, grab a book, and relax. In addition to that, you're gonna have a couple hot tubs on either side, so they're cantilevered off the side of the ship. You can capture some incredible views. Now, just behind me for point of reference is the top of the solarium, and then of course you can see the X from the smokestack and the magic carpet. But this is an exclusive space. It's a really enhanced experience, and one of the great reasons to upgrade to a suite. 
down just one deck, you have more of the retreat sun deck space. You've got quite a few more loungers, day beds, chairs set up as well. I love the incredible amount of space that they've dedicated here on board to the retreat lounge, the retreat sun deck, and of course, Lumine restaurant. Now there's areas in the sun, there's also areas in the shade. And one of the things I wanted to point out is one of my favorite rooms in the entire industry are the edge villas. Now, as we step through here, some of the edge villas do have their own small private cabana area. Another really wonderful feature is that it's covered up above. So if there's a little bit of inclement weather, you can step out of the top level of your villa, head right through the doors to Lumine restaurant where you can have the delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. Now keep in mind, we have the Edge Villas filmed on our channel. We've got the entire celebrity fleet there as well. If you wanna see a full ship tour, rooms or suites, and when you're ready to book, Har Travel is the celebrity suite expert agency, and we know we can take incredible care of you and make sure that you get the very most value for your cruise money. Retreat guests can also enjoy the Retreat Lounge. It's a really nice large space. It's been expanded, which I appreciate. And right at the heart of it is the bar. Now it's a wonderful place to come for cocktail hour before dinner. It's also a great place to be throughout the day. There's floor to ceiling windows on either side that let in an enormous amount of natural light. You've got several different styles of seating wrapped all the way around. You've got booth style seating here. You've got different chairs and chaise loungers, lots of beautiful furniture, and it's actually really, really comfortable as well. Now, what I appreciate about this space is this is where you're gonna find the concierge team. Now, it's really important when you're in the retreat to understand you don't have to utilize the guest relations desk. You can come here and take advantage of the concierge team to get anything that you're looking for. It's just one of the many ways that they've enhanced the entire experience from start to finish. Now, speaking of cocktails, something that goes great with that is delicious hors d'oeuvres and appetizers. Now, they'll have light bites throughout the day. It'll start with continental breakfast in the morning. You can get pastries and yogurts and things like that and juices. And then throughout the day, they'll put different styles of hors d'oeuvres late into the evening as well. Now, this is that great spot where you can grab a bite along with that drink. You've got more booth style seating here, and they've really expanded it on the beyond and ascent. So you see you have a large table here. It's a great social area. I've played games there in the past, met up with friends and family. And then you could take advantage of more of those floor to ceiling windows. But I can't stress this enough. If you're staying in the retreat, take advantage of the retreat concierges. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're gonna enhance your entire experience. You can sit back, relax, and let them do all the hard work for you while you enjoy your vacation. Lumine Restaurant is the suite only stop for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. It's a highly enhanced menu where you're gonna find delicious options here and of course, world-class service. Now, it's just one of the great reasons to upgrade to a suite here on board. And in addition to delicious dining, they also have a massive collection of wine. If you're a Venophile, you're gonna love dining on board Celebrity anywhere here, but Lumine, they have some exquisite top shelf options for you to explore. Now, just like the entire ship, the design is absolutely elegant and beautiful. So you've got quite a few different dining options, and I love where they've placed Lumine. It's at the very top front of the ship, so you're gonna get wonderful views out the side of the ship. You have booth style seating, tables for two, four, and larger tables for family groups as well, but it wraps all the way around to the very front of the ship. So you're sitting at the top like a crown. You can sit here, look out, and get the same incredible views that the captain does. So you've got more seating here with booth style seating. You've got it wrapped all the way around. And my favorite seats in the entire house are right here in the front looking out. So whether you're sailing in and out of one of the exquisite ports of Europe or the Caribbean, you're gonna have delicious food and the most incredible views. Now, wellness is a huge part of the Celebrity Cruises experience. And the center of that is of course the spa. You can find all of the world-class spa treatments here that you can find at a high-end spa at home. Whether you're looking for a salon experience, that incredible thermal suite, or of course, facials, massages. My personal favorite is of course the hot stones and a Swedish and maybe a deep tissue and let's do it all back again. You're gonna love that they also have a full Medi Spa experience here. They have IV therapy, they have acupuncture and some really wonderful doctors on board. So once again, that wellness woven in concept from Celebrity that ties in with the spa cafe, the spa itself, you're gonna find all kinds of wellness options here on board. Now I'm just inside the full service salon. You can take advantage of all the wonderful products with their partnership with Keristis from Paris with the high quality ingredients. Whether you're looking for a full revolutionary new hairstyle, you just wanna up, get done up to head out and enjoy this incredible vessel. Now they've got pedicure stations here and manicure stations, so you can really pamper yourself and enjoy. And of course you can get your hair cut or style. Now in addition to that, they also have a fantastic barbershop 
Let me show you that now. Now it's for gentlemen looking for a haircut, a new style, or if you're looking for a beard trim or shave, they've got wonderful facial options here as well. So they have fantastic barbers on board. You can get everything that you would on land, except for it's so much better when you're at sea. Now at the heart of the wellness experience here in the spa, you'll find the thermal suite. Now, if you're staying in one of the Aqua Class or Aqua Class Suites, you get complimentary access. Otherwise, you can purchase by day or throughout your entire cruise. It's a really extensive thermal suite, and I highly recommend you check it out. All along the front windows, you're going to have these wonderful loungers. So they're hot stone loungers, they're ergonomic, they heat from the back, and of course, having a bad back for all these years, it's a wonderful thing for me, especially after an excursion. You can look out and get those beautiful views out the front, and right in the middle is this beautiful crystal. There's an art piece in each of the ships, and I really like that one. Now, as we head around the corner, you're gonna have several different rooms where you can do a cycle of sorts. So you can go between, you've got salt therapy here with inhale. So there's Himalayan salts in there on the wall. It's nice and warm, not too hot, but it's warm and you can sit in there and of course breathe that in for lots of healing. Now around the corner, you're gonna find two more options. So these are the steam rooms. So first off, you're gonna have the Aroma Steam Mist. So in addition to the steam, you're gonna have some usually eucalyptus or lavender or something like that to open up your sinuses. And then you also have the Hammam Turkish bath. That's gonna be a little more of an intense experience. Once again, the idea is you can rotate through them all. Now, speaking of that, the experience shower on here is really cool. Now, I wanted to point out that you have the gents and ladies locker room entrance from here, but you can also experience this as you've got the rainfall showers, you've got the tropical mist showers, you've got the cold and warm, and you can actually work your way all the way through as you walk through and experience each one. Just press the button, whether it's the hot mist or the cold mist, it's a really wonderful way to stimulate your body. To complement the stone loungers, you have these zero gravity loungers. They're really cool. You can kind of sit in them. They move around a little bit, sway just a bit with the ship. It's a really cool experience. You're also going to have that classic infrared sauna. I really appreciate that. It's a great way to sweat out all the toxins before I go back to the bar. Right around the corner, the final bit is the crystallarium. This is another unique feature here on board. They've got crystals in there all for energizing healing. Now the fitness center is world-class here on board. You're gonna find a ton of treadmills lining the ocean view. You're also gonna find stair steppers, and then they have all of your favorite circuit equipment. You've got ellipticals, you've got leg presses. You can work an entire circuit workout as you would at home. Now there's quite a few free weight options over to the far side. You've got Smith machines, you've got pulley machines, and quite a few different free weight options. Continuing along, it wraps all the way around the front. I love that they have the ellipticals and the bikes right in the top front of the ship, where you can take advantage of those incredible ocean views and get motivated as you head along. Now there's several different areas here as well that have more fitness, so you're gonna find the bikes here, so you can do the spin bike sessions, and then wrapped all the way around the far side, you have more treadmills. Now those of you looking for a break in between workouts, or, well, if you're looking for a dad nap, they also have recliners in here as well. See you guys in the morning my kind of workout. You'll find two aerobic studios here on board where you can come in and utilize yourself or they'll do classes. Now, personally, I love the yoga classes. They do stretch, meditation. They also have TRX equipment. Now, the other thing I really appreciate is they've got the foam rollers. They've got all the mats and the different weights here. But after a long flight, I'll oftentimes come in here and use the foam rollers to roll it out or after a shore excursion. Now, if you're looking for some motivation, look no further than a spin class. I love to stop by here every once in a while. They even have a drink holder for your gin and tonic. It's pretty nice, but there's nothing better than competition to get motivation. And I love that they have the screens on either side. They've got the music blasting. They've got all the spin shoes. So you can come in here, spin the night away, the day away, and get some exercise. I'm done. That was too much. As we venture back to Eden, you can experience art. Now, of course, the entire ship is a piece of art, and I love this space because so much of it is interactive. You've got the mirrors on either side, you have the beautiful styles of sculptures, you even have places where you can sit down and relax for a second. But you can see all the chrome is gleaning, and of course, all the beauty in here, just to get to Eden, and then you'll see it, take it to another level. All the way in the aft of the ship, you'll find one of the most beautiful venues on any cruise ship in the world, and that is Eden. It's a combination of an incredible amount of light. You can really see the architecture in here. 
This ship class was designed with artificial intelligence. They're able to take away a lot of the support systems so that you can have beautiful, expansive glimpses of the sea. Now the space itself is multi-use and it's multi-story. It's actually a three-story space. Now up above, you have a lounge style space. You can access it through an elevator, so there is accessibility here. And then you also can access it by a stairway and a ramp that goes all the way around. Now there's seating wrapped all the way around as well. This is a perfect place to be on a sea day. I know my wife loves it here because you can get that exquisite light coming in from all around. You've got 180 degree views wrapped all the way around and set just behind me is the Eden Cafe. Now this is one of the delicious complimentary fast casual options here on board. Soups and salads, they'll have it usually from late in the morning until the early afternoon as well. Now there's seating just behind me, so all the way in the back you've got cafe style seating, and then you have a wide variety of lounge style seating and bar seating. Now, speaking of the bar, it's where you're gonna find world-class bartenders. They have some really unique mixology drinks. In fact, they have a little treasure chest where your drink can be delivered, and they have special drinks throughout the ship for each and every single venue. They've worked with mixologists around the world to craft those, but you can also have your all-time favorite, which everyone knows is a gin and tonic. Now, you've got more seating here, and then this is a large dance floor. And you've got the piano just behind, and they'll put on different styles of shows, full production style shows in here, and then also lounge style entertainment with wonderful singers. Now there's lots of nooks and crannies where you can grab a book and read or enjoy the entertainment in the evening. You've got an elegant staircase that goes up and it all connects together. The ramp that heads all the way around, you can take advantage of those stunning views. They've got chairs facing out there. And then all the way down below, the first story is the Eden Restaurant. It's exquisite cuisine and we'll take you down there now. Set between Eden up above and the incredible floor to ceiling windows just aft, you'll find the delicious Eden restaurant. Now this is truly Michelin inspired cuisine. In fact, I dream about the rolls that start your meal. And as you work your way through, the Branzino dish is my favorite meal in the entire industry. You're gonna find fresh lobster, absolute deliciousness across the board, and some brand new concepts that you may have not even thought about before. Now I love the open kitchen concept. This is by far the most popular of the specialty restaurants here on board. You definitely want to pre-book and you will not regret it. You've got booth style seating here for two. You've got larger tables for six. They can put together and accommodate larger groups as well. But I love that they have the open kitchen concept. You can see them preparing the meal for later today already. And you're gonna have some incredible bites here. And what I love about it is you also get the ambiance of the music from up above. Now I did want to point out the lift comes down here as well, so you have accessibility if that's a need of yours. Another high-end retail option here on board is Mankind. It's just forward of Eden. You'll see some vintage luxury, so they've got some Louis Vuitton in here. They've got different styles of luggage. Lots of great high-end luxury options for you to consider. Now you may think you've experienced chocolate, but you have not until you've stopped by Les Maisons du Chocolat. This is a famous Parisian chocolatier. You're gonna find delicious truffles and all kinds of wonders. You can pick some up to take home, though every time I buy them, I manage to eat them all on board. Now Aqua Class on board the Celebrity Ascent is a phenomenal upgrade opportunity. Now what I find is our guests that maybe aren't ready to step all the way up to a suite, they absolutely love Aqua Class, and this is one of the main reasons. So you're gonna get wonderful upgrades like the thermal suite, you'll get access to that throughout, and then you'll get blue restaurant throughout your entire time here on board. It's a delicious upgraded specialty restaurant that comes at no additional cost for Aqua Class guests for breakfast and dinner each and every single day. Now you're gonna find all your classic favorites here, but they also have elevated spa cuisine. Now I'll be honest, the first time I dined in blue and had Aqua Class, I was a little bit nervous as to what the spa cuisine meant, and it's absolutely blown me away. Now they've expanded Aqua Class to the Aqua Class suites as well. That way those guests can dine here or in Lumine or a combination of both. Now those rooms do fill up quick. Make sure that you check it out. We've got all the rooms and suites on our channel and talk to your hard travel advisor about the, considering an upgrade to Aqua Class. Welcome to the Grand Plaza. It's not only a beautiful space, but it's really the beating heart of the ship. You're gonna find the martini bar down below where you have delicious cocktails in the evening. Up above that, they actually have the LED lights and they'll put on that full show. 
You're gonna have some flair bartending happening. It's very interactive, quite exciting, and they're gonna have live music throughout the day and late into the evening. So there's lots of things that are wrapped all the way around. Of course, they have wonderful seating down below at the Martini Bar, booth style seating wrapped around on the far side and here as well. But one of the things that you'll notice different for this ship from the earlier in the class is that you're gonna have quite a bit more space. They've expanded it significantly. They've moved the Martini Bar to the middle, so there's great flow here, and it allows more people to participate and enjoy. As you step up, you've got more seating wrapped all the way around, and then it steps up even further as well. And then as you look up, you're gonna have the Cafe El Bacchio, that coffee shop concept here. You've got Le Grand Bistro as well, the French restaurant, absolutely delicious, craft social bar. And then up above, you're gonna have two more wonderful specialty experiences the Fine Cut Steakhouse, some of the best steak in the industry. And on the opposite side, you'll find Raw on Five. It is a seafood lover's delight. Those seafood towers are out of this world. But what I really appreciate about this space is there's lots of places where you can participate, whether you wanna be up and just listening to the music or you wanna be down right in the middle of it. They'll even do performance art here as well. It's an incredibly beautiful space and it's where you wanna go for a pre or post dinner drink, for a coffee during the morning. It's really utilized throughout the day and later into the evening. Now, speaking of the evening, Le Grand Voyage is a wonderful place to get a meal, but this also turns into a place where they're gonna do the silent discos, they'll do different styles of parties here as well. It's that central gathering hub, whether you're listening to the piano player or rocking out to some late night music, this is where you wanna be on the Celebrity Ascent. Now, Destination Gateway is a revolutionary concept in the industry, and I just wanted to point out, you can access it from the Grand Plaza. So there's a stairway that goes all the way down there, and when you come back from a shore excursion, or maybe when you're boarding, you can head right up the stairs and bypass the elevators right up through the plaza. Now, if you love a steakhouse on land, you're gonna really love the Fine Cut Steakhouse here on board. They've got delicious cuts of meat, of course, some seafood options as well, but it's this beautiful space to me that sets it over the top. You can start off with that lobster cocktail, work all the way through to my favorite, which is always gonna be a ribeye. It's juicy, tender, and delicious. Now, my wife likes the filet, and that's the best part of cruising. You can get whatever you'd like. Now this is another one of the great specialty restaurants here on board. You can take advantage of one of the specialty restaurant packages or purchase them a la carte. Now they've expanded this compared to the previous ships. I love that you have seating all the way to the windows. So you've got the glass on top. You can look out and check out those incredible views as you dine on exquisite steaks. Now there's quite a bit of seating in here, tables for two and four along the windows. You've got large booth style seating. And then they also have some seating that overlooks the plaza below where you can take advantage of the music and the ambiance. So you can pair it up with some of your favorite wines. The sommeliers here on board are world-class. So if you're looking for a delicious steakhouse menu, you've got fine cut and you won't regret it. Now, when it comes to dining on board, this is my happy place, Raw on Five. This is where you're gonna find exquisite seafood dishes, whether it's sushi and sashimi or cooked seafood, they have a wide variety to choose from. My all-time favorite are those seafood towers. You can dig into the delicious crab and lobster. They've got mussels and oysters, all kinds of deliciousness. Now keep in mind, if you don't love seafood as much as your other part, the rest of your party does, they also have some wonderful land-based dishes as well. So they'll set up the display case here in just a bit. This is another one of those great specialty restaurants and it's one of the most popular, so you definitely wanna pre-book. Now, if you're looking for an incredible drink experience, look no further than the World Class Bar. This is where you're gonna find incredible mixologists making some very unique drinks and of course, really anything that you want. Now on the ascent, you've got some incredible views down to the plaza from here. You also have seating at the bar and then more seating that wraps all the way around. But this is really for that top shelf, high quality premium cocktail experience with some of the best bartenders in the business. Now the Annex is a brand new experience on Celebrity Ascent and I would not be surprised to see it on other ships in the future. This is a private experience room. You can gather with up to 16 of your closest friends. It's lots of experiences in one. So you can turn it into a karaoke lounge. You see the microphones right here. They also have different sports games. You can even use it to watch the big game. Now, what I really appreciate about this, it's all about gathering together with friends and family and having fun. Fun is what I think about with cruises and making memories that last a lifetime. So if you're as terrible a golfer as I am, you can come on in here and practice or have a little competition with your friends. Let's see what we got going today. <laughs> Yep, to the right, that's pretty standard. Well, let's see what we got. 
Oh. Yep, to the left. You put it together, one of them's gonna go right down the middle. Lots of fun games to play. Now keep in mind, the Celebrity Ascent visits some of the most incredible destinations in the world with some of the best golf courses. You can arrange for that with their private journeys program as well. Maybe get a little practice in before you head out and enjoy. Oh yeah, right down on the ground. Now, if you're looking to purchase art or just view it, you've got the Park West Art Gallery. Now, Celebrity's had a partnership for quite some time. They have art auctions here on board, and I'm told you can get better prices than you can on land, and they'll ship it to you. You'll find some of our favorite artists with Godard and Kincaid, Brito over to the side as well. But one of the things I really appreciate about this gallery is you have incredibly knowledgeable people guiding you through. They have some original art pieces from famous artists, along with some very modern art. So you can come here to get an education, you can purchase, oftentimes get a free glass of champagne at one of the art auctions. Some of the exquisite high-end luxury retail on board can be found right here. You'll see Piaget and Cartier, Bulgari. And once again, you can take advantage of those duty-free prices. If you wanna spoil your partner and take it to the next level, you can get a fantastic watch, all sorts of different jewelry. Of course, they'll let you try them on and learn about the pieces as well. But you can have quite a savings here on board and Celebrity does guarantee the products as well. So if you're looking for some high-end jewelry options, look no further. Now the theater here on board is where you're gonna find true world-class entertainment. They have three exquisitely designed shows. You're gonna find some of your favorite pop music, some new concepts here, and you're truly gonna be blown away by all the technology. Now there's a massive wraparound screen that adapts with the show throughout. So that's basically the equivalent of the stage and of course, all of the backdrop. Now you're gonna have the rounded stage in the middle, which I love because you get great views from every part of the house. You'll have stadium style seating down below that goes all the way up underneath. And then you have balcony seating wrapped all the way around up here as well. Now Celebrity has really doubled down, or you may say tripled down on the entertainment. The investments, of course, getting all the licensing here, but they brought on some of the best entertainers in the entire industry. And you're gonna be blown away by not only the quality, but how interactive it is. People absolutely love it. And you'll come back time and time again. Now, in addition to those exquisite Broadway style shows, you're also gonna have guest lecturers. They'll bring on singers, dancers, comedians, magicians, all kinds of different options, especially when you're doing a longer cruise here on board. Just after the theater, you're gonna find more wonderful retail options. Now, Spirited is where you can take advantage of some duty-free prices on alcohol, some tobacco products. They also have some sundries in there as well. And they have a large resort wear collection. I love that because you can stock up on your favorite Celebrity Ascent logo wear. They've got that all along here. Of course, you've got cups and mugs and t-shirts. I love some of the shirts that they have here on board. In fact, I have quite a few in my collection. Now, continuing along, you're gonna find a large assortment of different styles of perfumes, cosmetics. Those duty-free prices really do knock them down quite a bit. I know my wife and I will oftentimes stock up here because the prices are a bit lower. Now, the Future Cruise Desk is a place I definitely recommend you stopping by. Celebrity knows that you're gonna have an incredible time on the cruise, and so you wanna stop by, you can take advantage of some promotions that you can't get on land. So you're gonna get the best prices that you'll have, and of course, as your travel advisor, that booking is gonna go directly to us so we can assist you with it every step of the way. Now, if you didn't book your original cruise with Hard Travel, we'd love to assist you still. Reach out to us before you head on your cruise. We can tell you how to connect so that we can take care of all the details for you to make sure that you get the very most value for your cruise money. Now, the studio is the fine art photography area, so you can set up a time where you can come and get professional portraits done. Now for me, this is a perfect time for that because it's when everybody's usually dressed up, looking good, and also when you have the friends and family together. Maybe you want that perfect Christmas card photo, you can do that there, but you'll get a wonderful professional setting. They can do the editing for you and then they can print it on all kinds of different mediums or of course just provide the digital shots. Now another important spot is the shore excursions desk. We always recommend that you book your shore excursions before you arrive here on board because many of them can and will sell out. Now keep in mind, Celebrity has their private journeys program where you can book private and custom excursions with Celebrity as well. You're gonna to wanna to do that far in advance. Your hard travel advisor can connect you and show you how that's possible. Now, in addition to that, we have some wonderful third-party excursion offerings. If you're looking for something unique, custom, or a larger group, just let us know and we'd be happy to assist. 
Now the iLounge is where you can learn everything you need to know about the internet here on board. And of course you can actually purchase Apple products. They have a special partnership where you can get discounts here on board. And if you're looking to connect the internet, stop by here because that's where you'll find the internet manager. Now the Celebrity Ascent is equipped with Starlink, some of the fastest internet at sea, and many of their packages do include internet service. You can upgrade it before you arrive on board, and I recommend that because most of the time, that's where you're gonna find the highest speeds at the lowest prices. But you can stop by, you can add to it, of course you can ask all the questions as well to connect your personal device. Now this is also the photo gallery. The celebrity photographers will be taking photos around the ship, if that's something that you want. And I really like that because they can take those photos, capture those special moments, and you can just enjoy yourself. You can stop by, you'll just take your card out, tap it on one of the monitors there, you can see all the photos they've taken throughout. You can purchase one, you can purchase all digitally, or they can print them for you as well. Now the Celebrity Ascent is the perfect place to host a meeting and Har Travel is the perfect agency to make that happen. Now this is the meeting place here on board. There's several different conference rooms in here. They can set it up however you'd like. Of course, being a brand new ship, they have world-class audio visual, all the support that they can provide for that. They can divide the space up into multiple spaces or you can have one nice large one. You can see it's set up in a little bit of a conference style now. They can do classroom setups. Really, they can use this space for lots of different options. Now, keep in mind there's other spaces around the ship that can be utilized for meetings, whether it's a corporate incentive group, a wedding, or a large family group. We can help you put that together so you can get the most value for your money. And of course, what better place to host a meeting than at sea? Now the club on board is an incredibly diverse entertainment venue. This is used for everything from a nightclub venue in the evening to hosting different styles of shows and entertainment. You can also host groups and parties in here. They've got the massive screen up there. They'll even use it for viewing parties like a football game or once again, hosting a large event. Now you've got the full bar set up. You can see the aesthetic looks a little bit like a midtown Manhattan nightclub. I love all the furniture, the diversity of it. You've got lounge chairs. You also have large chaise loungers as well. And then up above, you're gonna see incredible viewing areas. They've added TVs in each and every single one of the nooks. And of course it has all that high powered sound equipment. So they'll put on a full production show in here. You can dance the night away in here as well. It's a wonderful place to enjoy a cocktail and enjoy your friends and family. Family. Now there's an enormous amount of high-end retail here on board. Celebrity is partnered with the best. So if you're looking for some great jewelry options, watches, they've got clothing items, high-end bags as well. And they also have a mix and a variety of costs. So if you're interested, make sure you stop by and take advantage of the duty-free prices. You can do a little bit of window shopping, try it on. Who knows, maybe you'll even find the perfect fit for you. Now, if you're looking for an exquisite dining experience, look no further than Le Voyage by Chef Daniel Belloud. Long Time has been one of my favorite celebrity chefs out there, classically French trained, and has collaborated with Celebrity Cruises on this incredible restaurant venture. It's expanded from the beyond, it's been so popular, you're gonna find an incredible fine dining menu. Now it does come at an additional cost, it's the most expensive restaurant here on board, and you definitely wanna pre-book it because it will fill up. This is where you can find an intimate setting, delicious food, a lot of it is French inspired, but it does have quite a variety. Now you're gonna find booth style seating on the far side, beautiful elegant decor all around, and then you have tables for two and four, and then as you head right around the corner there, there's even a private room where you can do a private party tasting or dining experience. Now once again, this is Le Voyage by Chef Daniel Belloud. Don't miss it when you're on board the Ascent. Now the Cafe El Bacchio is a celebrity classic. It's the coffee shop here on board. It's a really nice large space. They've got all your favorite coffee drinks, cappuccinos, lattes, Americanos, and of course, if you have that beverage package, you can have a little liquor put in there as well. Now they've got a wonderful pastry selection. I love that. I stop by there each and every single day, three, four, five times to get some cakes and cookies and muffins, and they're gonna change that out throughout your cruise. Now there's a ton of seating in here. You've got booth style seating. You've got high top tables where you can work. I hope you're not working on vacation. You also have lots of lounge style spaces where you can sit back and relax. One of the things I really appreciate about this is it overlooks the plaza down below. So you can get the music overflow. Of course, if they're doing events down there, you can take advantage of it. It's a great people watching spot as well. But if you want your morning cup of joe, stop by the Cafe El Bacchio. As I've cruised more and more on the edge class of ships, Le Grand Bistro has become a favorite of my family for a couple reasons. 
First off, on boarding day, this is my favorite place to get lunch. It's absolutely delicious, and of course, it's nice, casual, and relaxed place to eat. But more than that, you're gonna find an exquisite menu and a patisserie. Now, I know when I cruise, I stop by the patisserie all the time. Every single morning, you're gonna find some beautifully baked French breads, and of course, those canals are to die for. The madeleines, the croissants, all of them are absolutely delicious. Now, they do come at an additional cost, but you won't regret it. Now for lunch, this is going to be a French restaurant each and every single day. I love the way that they've designed it. Feels like you're on a French city street outside. It does overlook the plaza as well, so you can take in that music and the ambiance and have a wonderful meal. Now it's a great place to drink a coffee as well, but later into the evening, it transitions to Les Petits Chefs. This is one of those celebrity favorites. They're gonna close the walls off here and there's projectors in the ceiling and they're gonna project down onto the tables so you're gonna learn about your meal and you're gonna interact with the tiny chefs. They have a bit of a competition and the food, being a specialty restaurant, is absolutely to die for. My wife and I had an amazing meal right here just the other day. It was absolutely delicious, but what I love about it is there's entertainment as well. So it's something different that you wanna try. Now, Le Petit Chef is very popular. It's a specialty, so you do need to pre-reserve you can reserve when you get on board, but I always recommend that you take advantage of the pre-reserve options on the app or the website. You don't want to miss out, but keep in mind, French for lunch and then Le Petit Chef for dinner. Think of Craft Social as your neighborhood gastro pub. Now it's got a pub feel, of course. You've got the full bar set up, incredible bartenders. It'll be slinging drinks late into the night. And it's right next to the casino as well. So it's a very popular place. You can take advantage of everything happening in the plaza down below, the live music. And of course they have large TVs. I've watched some of my favorite sports games in Craft Social. But one of the things that I love is in addition to all the delicious drinks, they have absolutely delicious food as well. It comes at an additional cost, but you're gonna find a similar menu to what you have in the French restaurant for lunch going late into the evening, along with your favorite pub fare. Definitely, definitely stop by here and have some of those tasty bites. Now, if you love to gamble on land, I'm sure you'll enjoy gambling here on board the Celebrity Ascent. They've got a world-class casino here with all your favorite table games, craps, roulette, Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, love the Ultimate Hold'em, and I really love that they have the handout Hold'em over there as well. To me, it's so much better than a machine. I love the interaction and the social aspect of it as well. Now you've got more tables all the way down the far side with Blackjack there, and then quite a few different slot machine options here. Personally, I love the old school ones where you pull down on the lever, but they've got all the digital ones, the multi-use games as well. Now keep in mind, if you're struggling with gambling, make sure and check with one of the crew members. They can help you out with that. Gamble responsibly and have a great time on board if that's your thing. Now there's four main dining restaurants here on board where you can take advantage of the included dining options. You're gonna find your classics that you get each and every single day. You're also gonna have a rotating dining menu. Now the rotating menu will be the same in each of the four restaurants. The big difference is each of the restaurants will have their own signature dishes. Now we're inside Cyprus right now. Now Celebrity Cruises was started by a Greek family. So it goes all the way back to the Greek heritage. You're gonna have some delicious option. The melty cheese makes me a lot a bit happy if you know what I mean. You also have that delicious Greek salad. There's several other options as well. So you can take advantage of the rotational menu. And of course, as you go to each restaurant throughout the time that you're here on board, you can taste their specialties. This is, once again, one of the complimentary options here on board, included in your cruise fare. Now, Cosmopolitan is meant to give you those New York City vibes. You're gonna find delicious courses here, as you will in all the restaurants. And the signatures here, my favorite is the oxtail. Don't forget to check out that delicious creamy corn soup as well. Now, one of the things I love about cruising is it's a perfect place to try new things. Being that this is an included restaurant, you can try something new each and every single day. In fact, I've found some of my favorite dishes in the entire world here on board cruise ships. So I highly recommend you open your palate, give the chefs a try, they do an incredible job and of course, it's the wait staff that really take the entire experience to the next level. They're gonna be with you every single step of the way, listening to what you're looking for, help to make recommendations as well, so you can have a delicious dining experience here in the Cosmopolitan Restaurant. Now, in addition, this is one of the spots that generally serves breakfast. Make sure you check your cruise planner, depending on where you are in the world, if it's a sea day, a port day, they oftentimes have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's seated and a la carte. To me, the most beautiful of the four restaurants on board is the Tuscan restaurant. You're gonna find delicious choices from Tuscany, whether it's that Tuscan pork chop. Of course, everybody loves Italian food, and for me, it's all about the carbonara. So you've got some delicious desserts here that are specialized from Italy as well. So once again, you can take advantage of the classic menu, the stunningly beautiful decor, and of course, dig into some of your Italian favorites. 
Now this beautiful space is the Normandy restaurant. Of course, you can hear France in the name there and it pays tribute to the old ship SS Normandy. I love the nautical heritage that it references, but also the delicious French food. So you'll have all the classics, of course, the rotational menu. And here, my favorite is that baked brie with apple. Ooh, absolutely delicious. In addition to some wonderful duck breasts as well. So if you want to try some French cuisine, they've got some wonderful things to try once again, along with all of your favorites. Make sure you check it out. Once again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, depending on the day, dinner every single day. Now, have you ever wondered what's inside the walls of a cruise ship? I love that they've left it open here. As you head forward from the Tuscan restaurant, you can see a little bit of the exposed steel. They've left it here intentionally. I think it's just a really cool touch. Lots of wonderful nautical touches here on board. Now, the guest relations desk on board is where they can handle everything to do with money, any questions that you really have. Think of it like a hotel front desk. They can help you with just about everything on board or direct you where to go. Now you've got a wonderful staff here and it complements with the concierge desk and the loyalty desk as well. So the concierge desk, if you have concierge class, you can utilize that space. They also can help you with concierge style services throughout the cruise, both on the ship and off the ship as well. And the loyalty desk is where you're gonna learn everything about the Captain's Club. So this is one of the best loyalty programs in the entire industry. They're gonna build your loyalty as you cruise more and more with celebrity. So they can answer all your questions about those benefits. And of course, you can ask them whatever you need to know about going on your next celebrity cruise. Now, Camp at Sea is my daughter's happy place here on board. It's a phenomenal kids club program that combines learning, entertainment, and a lot of fun here. And your kids are gonna love it as well. Now, it's really critical that you stop by the first day on board. This is for three to 12 year olds here. They do need to be potty trained for drop off service, but it's a complimentary service. They can watch them later into the evening too. I believe after 10 p.m. It does come at a small nominal charge after that. So it's really important that you stop by on boarding day. You're gonna check the kiddos in. It's all about safety here. So you're gonna let them know who can drop them off and pick them up. So when I cruise, of course, my parents can drop them off and pick them up, our close friends can. So maybe my wife and I are having a delicious meal in Eden. My dad can come, pick my daughter up, head out and have a wonderful time here on board. Now this is for the smallest kiddos. This is the three to five year olds over here. You can see they have quite a bit of space, lots of fun toys. In fact, I've got a really little one at home right now and this looks a lot like my house. In fact, I think I've stepped on a few of those before too. So as you see, you've got a large TV with sound bar. They'll put movies on for them. They'll have a lot of fun shows. They do arts and crafts. They've got all the fun things for the little kiddos and then tucked right around the corner, you're gonna find a bit more space. Now there's restrooms in here, of course, this is true drop off, and then they're gonna be in here until you come back and pick them up. Now, sometimes they will do events around the ship for families, which I really appreciate, and Destination Gateway is one of those spots. When we get there on the tour, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, this is the area for the kiddos that are a little bit bigger, so five up to 12. They've got several stations for them. There's wonderful video games. In fact, my daughter loves playing those here. You've got a nice little dance floor fun area. You've got a basketball hoop, large flat panel TV with lots of different games for the kids to play. I love this light bright concept. Takes me right back to the 1980s when I grew up with one that was much smaller. In fact, I need to find a way to build one of those at home for the kids. So you see they have lots of arts and crafts. So if your kiddo's left brain, right brain, they've got the perfect option for them. They do a lot of kinesthetic stuff as well. And then as we head further in, you're gonna see more of the TVs, the video game stations. They have a ping pong table, foosball table, fun games like little putt-putt golf. And one of the things I appreciate is they've really leaned into that STEM education concept. So the kids can learn to program here. They've got Dash the Robots, one of my daughter's favorites. Lots of things that they can build and put together. The perfect family vacation is one when every single member of the family is having an incredible time and camp at sea is perfect for your kiddos and I know it's perfect for mine as well. Now the teen club on board is called the basement which makes a lot of sense because depending on what part of the country you're from, teens love to hang out in the basement away from everybody else. They've got their own space here. You can see the dance floor that also functions as a lounge space. You've got beautiful decor on the wall. Of course, video game stations. They've got several different styles of consoles in here, foosball, large screen TV, and they'll do all kinds of different activities. Now they'll do activities here and around the ship, but to me, this is the perfect location for the teens. They can be themselves, hang out, relax, and we all know that the hardest group to entertain is teenagers. I was a middle school teacher for over a decade, and if you can keep them happy, it's gonna be the perfect family vacation. Destination Gateway is a game changer for the industry for several reasons. Now, this is truly a multi-use space. 
Behind me, you can see those doors will open up and you can step right out onto the magic carpet. This is perfect when you're tendering at different ports around the world that maybe don't have the docking space or the ability to get a ship of this size in, they can still take advantage of those ports in a very comfortable manner. When you come on inside, it's air conditioned, they'll set up the security in here as well. So you step in out of the elements, it's a much more enjoyable experience. But it's much more than that. It's also a place that they utilize throughout the cruise. When my family was on recently, my kiddos used this space for the kids club late into the afternoon and evening. They set it up with tents, they had a small faux campfire, they had all kinds of relay races and fun in here. And what I love about that is the kids got to step away from other parts of the ships, dig in and enjoy. They'll do parties down here. They actually did a silent disco that my kids really, really enjoyed as well. So you can use this for all kinds of different events. And once again, it's away from the rest of the ship. Now there's an entrance where you can walk right up to the Grand Plaza. You're also gonna have the elevators right around the corner as well. But you can see with the large scope of this space here, they can utilize it to very comfortably get you on and off the ship in a simple manner. So I'm sure you can see by now why we love the Celebrity Ascent so much and the entire Celebrity fleet. It's the incredible crew, the delicious food, the world-class entertainment, and of course the amazing views everywhere they sail in the world. When you're ready to book your next room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel or book it right on hardtravel.com. We know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friend, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now I've got a date. It's time. I'll see you later. Mm. Mm.